Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful Serenade of the Seas. Now this is a Radiance class ship, it's what they call a Panamax, it's the largest ship that can fit through the Panama Canal. So before the new Panama Canal was built, all the cruise lines, including Royal Caribbean, had ships that were this size so they could reposition between Alaska in the summer and the Caribbean in the winter. Now what I love about this ship is in my mind, it's just about the perfect cruise ship design. It pays homage to the old school days of cruising. I love all the different lounges, the massive schooner bar, you've got the theater, all your favorite specialty restaurants, and then of course the main dining as well. But in addition to that, you're gonna be surprised by all the updates and upgrades, especially if you sailed on a Radiance class ship in the past. Now today we're gonna to go through every single space here on board this beautiful ship. But keep in mind before we do, when you're ready to book your next Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea Cruise, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and get that hard travel signature service and value every step of the way. Now we're gonna start right up here on top of the pool deck. So we're one deck above, you can see the main pool down below. There's gonna be a couple hot tubs down there. You've got seating all the way around, so you're gonna have those classic loungers. It's actually tiered just a little bit, so you've got a couple sets. You're also gonna have outdoor seating area below the track here. So where I am right now, I'm actually on the walking track. You can follow that all the way around to the front of the ship, and it's gonna wrap all the way back around. Now also on the main pool deck, you're gonna find the large screen TV. So this was an addition in one of their latest renovations. Tonight is the first Monday of the football season, so they're gonna have Monday night football there. They're also gonna do all kinds of different movies and different events here on the pool deck. So you can watch that screen while you're sailing through the glaciers, sailing in the Caribbean, or any of the exotic locations that this beautiful ship visits. Now on the far side, you're gonna find the pool bar. Now every great cruise ship pool's gotta have a great pool bar. But what I wanted to talk about to begin with is the people here on board. This ship is a beautiful, beautiful ship, but without the crew, it's not anything at all. The crew on board the Serenade of the Seas, just like on the other Royal ship, are phenomenal. They love what they do. They're here to make your experience world class, and the bartenders are sure to make you smile and laugh and keep those drinks flowing throughout your entire stay. Now, I did want to point out down below, they have life jackets. They do have a lifeguard on duty, but of course for this pool or the kiddie pool as well, make sure you're always paying attention to the kiddos. Safety is paramount here on board. Now we're gonna head out and explore, but as we do, I just wanted to remind you that it's basically the same layout and ship as the Brilliance of the Seas, the Jewel of the Seas, and the Radiance as well. Those four beautiful Radiance class ships are phenomenal. Follow along as we tour this beautiful vessel. Set just above the pool deck, you're gonna find the Sky Bar right here. Now we just boarded the ship. It's gonna open up a little bit later as we take off here tonight. But what I love about this particular space, of course it's great having the bar up here. It's gonna provide service for all the loungers. You have loungers all along the side over there and here, and then wrapped all the way around the back as well. But this particular spot is the perfect spot to set up for a football game, for a movie, whatever it is that they have on the large TV, this is that spot where you can see directly across. Now, in addition to it, it's a perfect spot for some people watching. You're right up here, one deck above the pool. Now, as we explore a little bit more about this particular deck, I just wanted to point out we're on deck 12 currently. So this is one floor above the pool deck. It's where you're gonna find the running track and quite a bit of sun space. Now we're gonna head down to, towards the front of the ship. Now, one of the things that's great about the Serenade of the Seas is that the deck does wrap all the way around the front. So you have some incredible viewing areas on front here, and there's actually some more viewing areas down one deck as well, in addition to up above. Now I'm gonna take you there in just a minute, but as we walk by it, I just wanted to give you the first glimpse of the top of the solarium. So this is the part of the dome that can actually open up, but basically this is the beautiful area when you're in Alaska, or if you're in Northern Europe or any of the cooler areas, it's climate controlled, or they can open it up and take advantage of a beautiful day. So now I'm down on the main pool deck. You've got the pool bar to my right, you've got the main pool right here in the middle, and then the large screen TV. Now just up above it is where you're gonna find the disco and the diamond club. So that's in the classic Viking Crown Lounge, just for point of reference. As we continue along, you're gonna have more of the lounge seating on either side. And then as it wraps back a little bit further, you've got some ping pong tables. And then you also have a little bit of the outdoor extension of the Windjammer Cafe. Now the Solarium on the Radiance class ships are beautifully designed. They're always some of the favorites for all of our guests who sail here on board. Now it's climate controlled. So we're here in Seattle today. It's nice and warm in here. 
You've got the main pool right down the middle, and then all around you're gonna have a shallow pool area as well. What I love about that is you can sit on the sides, put your toes in the water. Now you've got the stairways that come down at the front. You're also gonna have a hot tub over there as well. And then the beautiful bridge over the pool area. Now you've got two large elephants up there. Once again, some beautiful design, looks very Thai inspired. But as you walk through this space, what's so serene about it is they actually pipe in the sound of birds in the jungle and things along those lines. But it's just a really beautiful space. You're gonna have the loungers up here. On the far side, you're gonna have tables and chairs on either side as well. Now on one side of the solarium, you're gonna have a little bistro so you can get different sandwiches and soups, dessert options. And then on the other side, they're gonna have a full bar. So you of course can sit at the bar or you can get bar service delivered to you wherever you are in the solarium pool area. So just in front of the solarium, there's a stairway that heads up to deck 13. And up here, you're gonna find some incredible views. So you've got lounge chairs that are gonna be out all the way around, but being at the very top and the front of the ship, you're gonna get some incredible views out to the front part of the ship or to the side. This is one of those places that's great during the glaciers. Now keep in mind, you might wanna be down on the promenade deck. You get a little bit closer from down there, but this is a place where you can take it all in, perfect for sail away or for any occasion where you wanna get some sun and some amazing views. Now, just behind me, you'll find the rock climbing wall. Now, this was one of the very first rock walls that Royal put on any ship. And now, of course, it's on all of their ships because it's such a fun activity. It's something you can do independently or collaboratively. They've got a couple different pathways up, but the goal behind it is to climb as fast as you can up to the top and ring the bell. My brother and I used to have great competitions for that. Now, just for point of reference, on this side is the suite lounge, and then on the other side is the exit to the Vortex nightclub and lounge. Now, as we continue to head aft on deck 13, just below me are two spaces that I wanted to point out. The first one is the sport court. So it's a half basketball court. They're gonna have nets for soccer on either side. They do all kinds of different sports and activities. And they'll also take them here from the Adventure Ocean program, which is just behind us. Now on the other side, you're gonna have the water slide, splash pad, and toddler pool. So this is the kids play area. You've got a single water slide that wraps all the way around and snakes out there. And then down below there, you're gonna have a little wading pool and a little splash pad for the kiddos where they can play around. I love that they have the separation of space so this area is separate from the main pool deck area now continuing aft we're going to find the miniature golf that's one of my all-time favorite activities we always do it on a cruise ship i've been playing mini golf on cruise ships for several decades and what i love is it's complimentary it's always available and it's always a ton of fun let's try it out so the miniature golf course is a giant horseshoe that wraps all the way around. I'm in the aft right now. I love all the decor. They've got these lighthouses, little bird statues, all kinds of fun and whimsical decor around. Now this one, let's see here. I believe this is a par three-ish. So let's give this a try. Yep, that's exactly where I kind of didn't want to be. All right, let's lay up just a little bit. All right, let's give it a shot. Going for par. Yes. I think we got time for one more hole, don't you, Taylor? All right, let's try it. Okay. All right, so this one is a par three. See there, going up. Oh, I didn't quite make it up and over the ridge. Yeah. I left a little chicken on the bone there. Ah, oh, heartbreaker. All right. Hey, two pars, still no birdies. Now, another great thing that you can utilize the golf course for is the incredible views. We're on the very top back of deck 13. If you look out around me, there's the beautiful Seattle skyline just behind me. But wherever it is that you're traveling, where else can you get an incredible game of miniature golf and views like this? Now, I have so many memories of traveling on Royal Caribbean as a kid and teenager. My dad was a basketball coach for over 40 years, an incredible one, and my brother and I both played for him. So we always had to practice our free throws. We had a ton of fun on this very court playing three on three. Let's see if I still got anything left in the tank. All right, well, let's check and see if the bank's open. Hey Taylor, the bank's open. I like it. All right. 
Now aft on deck 12, you're gonna find the Challengers Arcade. So this is just a fun place to go, play some arcade games. Now keep in mind, it is an extra cost. Make sure you discuss that with your kiddos. Before you get on board, you can set a budget for them. But I've been known as the dad to spend a bit of time in there myself. So if you love to play in the arcade, go ahead and check it out. Now one of the spaces that I've always loved on the Radiance class ships is the Windjammer Buffet. It's an absolutely beautiful space. You've got windows on either side that go the entire distance of it. You also have an outdoor area just to the forward and you're gonna have an outdoor area to the aft. Now, let me show you the space. Now, as we enter the main part of the space, you're gonna have two bars, one on either side. So those function as drink stations where you can head over, get a coffee, juice. They're gonna rotate it throughout the day. So in the morning, you're gonna have juices for breakfast. Later on in the afternoon and evening, you're gonna have lemonade, iced tea, and the infused waters. Now keep in mind, this is the casual eatery here on board. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. They keep it open pretty late in the evening as well so that you can come up and grab a snack or a full meal. Now what you're gonna see right here is you have all the different food stations. So I love that they've done this. They've actually done it on their newer ships. This was the first one where they really divided it up that way. So you're gonna have different kinds of stations. You'll have a salad bar. You'll also have different kinds of hot food options. And once again, that's gonna rotate throughout the day. Right over here, you're gonna find another hot food station. This is gonna be where you're gonna order your omelets and things like that in the morning. They also have the big baking ovens as well. So you always get that fantastic smell as soon as you enter the space. You got a little area on either side here for the condiments. You can see a little bit more of the seating wrapped all the way around. And then over here, you're gonna find my happy place. You've got the dessert bar just behind me. And then, oh, I know they haven't quite set them up yet today, but I love you soft serve. We go, my soft serve ice cream machines, you can come in and utilize them as you'd like. Now keep in mind, I mentioned a second ago, you can go forward with your food and you can eat outside there. There's a coffee station, or you can head on back outside and explore as well. Now there's a ton of outdoor seating back here. If you're sitting in the very back, you look out at the most incredible views on the ship from the aft. It's also a perfect spot when you're going through the glaciers or when you're doing any kind of that scenic cruising throughout the world. But for me personally, you're always gonna find me dining outside al fresco. You can see you've got tables along the, the windows there. You also have more tables. It's kind of tiered as well. There's a little ramp way down and then it wraps all the way around. Now on the starboard side of the ship, you're gonna find outdoor seating for the wind jammer. On the port side, you have more of that, but they also have Rita's Cantina. So it's a bar lounge area with a Mexican theme. So you can mix and match that as you'd like. You can have a nice cocktail there as you have lunch. Now, just in front of the Windjammer, you're gonna have this outdoor dining area as well. So basically very similar to what they're gonna have in the aft. What I think is that of all the ships in the Royal Caribbean fleet, the Radiance class to me has the best Windjammer layout. You got the fantastic outdoor space behind, an extension just in front of that. And then you also have this as well, beautiful layout inside and a perfect place for a nice casual bite to eat. Now on the aft of deck 12, you got a large observation area. It's a perfect place when you're going through the glaciers or any of the scenic cruising. And I just wanted to point out that there's stairways on either side that head down to the aft outdoor area of the Windjammer Cafe. So those of you who've watched one of our tours before know how much I love Azumi. So Azumi is the Japanese cuisine, mostly sushi restaurant here on board. Now you're at the very top aft of the ship. Way back when, for those of you who've been on this ship before, might remember this as the seafood shack. It's been completely redone. So you've got bench seating all along the wall there. You've got tables for two or four. They can put them together for larger groups as well. You're gonna have a classic sushi bar option over to the side, but this is a sushi bar, which makes me so happy. I come here just about every single day on board, maybe have a snack before dinner, maybe a snack after, or you can make a full meal of it. But if you love sushi, you're sure to love Azumi, and I highly recommend you give it a try. Now we're inside the Diamond Lounge. Now this space is exclusive for those Crown and Anchor members who are diamond level or higher. You're gonna have the concierge sitting just over there. They can make reservations. They're gonna have all the different menus for the specialty restaurants. They can answer your questions, but really what they're here for is to improve your overall experience. Now you have quite a bit of seating in here. You've got seating against the windows. This is in the Viking Crown Lounge. So it's gonna angle a little bit forward. The windows, you're looking down at the pool on one side. The other side, you're looking out at the beautiful ocean views. So once again, you have seating along the windows, you've got seating over here. And then over on the side, you're gonna have an espresso maker. You can come up and utilize that throughout your cruise. And also right here, you're gonna have the area where they're gonna have different 
hors d'oeuvres in the evening. So they'll do a, a complimentary cocktail hour each and every evening in here. And then in the morning, they'll also set up a continental breakfast. But this is just an exclusive treat for those who are Diamond members or higher. Now, one of the things that I love about coming back on a cruise ship is that the memories just come flooding back. I've been on so many cruises on the Radiance class ships and have so many memories in this particular space. Now, this is the Vortex Lounge and Nightclub. It's in the Viking crown of the ship. Now, right here is the bar, but it's not just any bar. On the Radiance class, this was the first bar in the industry that rotates. So actually the interior part of the bar doesn't move, but the entire bar actually rotates around. So you get a little bit of a different view and a really cool, unique experience. Now up here, you're gonna have beautiful panoramic windows all along the side. This is one of those great places for observing the glaciers when you're in Alaska or any of the scenic cruising. Now you're gonna have seating all along the side. There's some more lounge seating behind me as well. But we're gonna continue on through the club. You can see it's a pretty darn big space. You're gonna have more seating wrapped all the way around here. So they've got seats for two and four. Now, when they have more than a few Diamond members here on board, they're gonna actually open up the door to the Diamond Club and when they do the cocktail reception, they'll do it right here in this space as well. But at its heart and soul, this is really a lounge and a nightclub. You see the piano right here, so they'll do some a piano player throughout the cruise. But right here is what it's really all about. In fact, I have so many memories of dancing here on this particular dance floor and all of them on the Radiance class. My wife and I have always loved this space. It's one of our favorite spaces in the Royal Caribbean fleet. So you've got the large dance floor here. You've got the bar tops on either side so you can sit and watch the dance floor. And then just behind, you're gonna have the DJ booth. They'll be spinning it late into the evening. This is a space to gather with friends, to meet new friends, relax, and really enjoy that fun cruise experience. So now we're inside the Concierge Suite Lounge. Now, those of you who've been on the Serenade a few years ago would recognize this space as the old Hollywood karaoke bar. In fact, there's still memorabilia along the side. You've got Julia Roberts, Denzel Washington, Halle Berry, and Harrison Ford over there. But this spot is now the suite and concierge lounge. So if you book a suite or if you're a Pinnacle member, you can utilize this space throughout your cruise. Now, the most important part is gonna be the concierge who will be sitting right here. They can assist you with reservations. They can answer just about all your questions as well. But they're really here as a resource for you. They're gonna have all the different menus for the specialty restaurants. Of course, they can reserve those for you. But what people really love about this space is the cocktail hour each and every evening. So as you walk through the space, you can see there's a beautiful stage up front. You're gonna have lounge seating all around here. You're gonna have tables for two and four. And then up on the far side as well, you'll have more tables. Now, right here in the middle, you're gonna have a espresso maker, so you can come up and use this anytime you'd like throughout the cruise. And they'll also do a continental breakfast here in the morning, and then appetizers later on in the evening. Now, one of the things that's so unique about this particular space is the beautiful views out. So you've got incredible views out the side of the ship. You also have an outdoor seating area as well. So if you wanna grab a drink or an appetizer or a coffee, head on out. It's a perfect place to read the newspaper in the morning, relax, or grab a cocktail in the evening with friends. Now, as we get ready to head into the Adventure Ocean Center, I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction. This is the kids club here on board. So up in this part, you're gonna have three different segments. So you're gonna have the Royal Babies and Tots. Those are the littlest cruisers starting at six months up to 36 months, where you can drop them off. They're sure to have a great time. And then you also have a segment with three to five year olds, the six to eight year olds, and then the nine to 11 year olds. They're each gonna have their individual space and they're also gonna have their own activities. So we're gonna head on in just to the right here. So this is the check-in area for the Royal Babies and Tots. This is where the tiniest cruisers can spend part of their cruise. So it starts at six months old, goes up to 36 months old. They're gonna check them in right here. You have a security door right here as well. So it's very, very important when you, set, when you get on board that you set up your Adventure Ocean experience for your kids. So this is gonna be letting them know which adults on board can pick them up or drop them off. So when we cruise with my mom and dad, I always add them to the list as well because they're only gonna be able to check them in and out with those passengers. So you've got your check-in desk right here. As we go around the corner, you're actually gonna have the nursery, the sleeping area. It's absolutely incredible. They put down all of these kids for their naps. They do an incredible job with it. They will change diapers. They also will feed them as well. Now around the space, you can see a little bit more. You've got the little desks where they'll do arts and crafts. In fact, along the wall, you have all of those different cabinets. They're gonna keep them busy throughout the entire cruise with enrichment activities and a ton of fun. So you've got some of the baby toys right here. You've got the little bus. In fact, it's looked like going back a few years in my family life. You've got the TV where they can do movies for the kids as well. And then I like that they have the bathrooms in the area itself. 
So now we're getting ready to explore the kids club area here on board. That's the Adventure Ocean program with Royal. I remember doing the Adventure program over 30 years ago with my brother, my family, and growing up in it, it was such an incredible thing to have on board the cruise ships. Because when every single member of the family has exactly what they want and need on board, everybody's gonna have a great time. So they have it segmented up into different age groups, different age appropriate activities, but they're gonna keep them smiling, laughing, and having a great time throughout the entire cruise. It is a drop off program, so you can drop them off here. The kids are gonna have a great time. You can go out and explore the ship. Maybe you wanna grab a dinner or a show or just go out and relax to have a little bit of adult time. I know my wife and I absolutely love the concept as well that they're gonna do the late night babysitting for them. After 10 o'clock, there is an extra fee, but my daughter was always begging to stay and explore and enjoy. And we would go out, have a phenomenal time and then gather back together as a family. Next up is the Aquinox play area. This is gonna be the three to five year olds. Now they have it all segmented out once again so that they can have a blast and play with age appropriate toys. They're gonna to have different kinds of programming as well that's specifically for the age groups. Now in here you can see you've got the ABCs along there. Once again, it's gonna be highly educational in addition to fun. You're gonna have all kinds of different games in here. They have toys. You can see all of the different cabinets on this side and over there are lined as well. You've got this nook tuck just around the corner, but in here they could do movie time, they could do arts and crafts, all kinds of different activities that are perfect for the three to five year olds. Next up are the spaces for the explorers and the voyagers. These are the six to eight year olds and the nine to 11 year olds. What they've done with this space is it's pretty much combined. So it's more about the activity rather than the age group. They do have the ability to separate it out just depending on the specific cruise. Now, first off, you're gonna have the arts and crafts area. Once again, you've got all that put away there. They can do coloring, they're gonna make crafts. My daughter came back every single day on our last cruise with something different that she wanted to show us. Once again, educational and fun. I love the way that they combine it. So if you were into the arts and crafts, that's the spot. They also have several video game areas. So you've got video gaming all along the side here and then over here as well. And as we continue in, the space really opens up. So this is more of the active play area. They're gonna do sports in here. You can see they've got the, the soccer goals set up right now. They do bowling. Once again, all kinds of different fun, active activities. You're also gonna have a stage with the TV just behind me. So they'll do movie time in here. They've got bean bags and different kinds of seating, but they'll continue to mix it up each and every day throughout the cruise. Now, as we continue along to the other side, you've got more of those video game stations over there. You're gonna see that it wraps continuously along. I love that they've got all the different action figures out here because they're gonna have a ton of different toys, games, and pretty much everything that a six to 11 year old would love on board. Next up is the Fuel Teen Club. So you can see right in the middle here, they're gonna have a dance floor. They'll do dances, all kinds of fun activities for them. You're gonna have the foosball table and then you've got lounge seating throughout. Now, something that's unique to the Teen Club is they're gonna do all kinds of activities around the ship. Just behind this area, you've got the basketball sport court. You're also gonna have the water slides and some fun areas back there. And then as we continue through the space, you can see they have a bar here. They used to do like mocktails and different things along those lines, but really it's more of a lounge setup now. You got video games on the far side and more seating in here. But the secret to the entire Adventure Ocean program is not the spaces, it's the people. My daughter absolutely loves going to Adventure Ocean. She has been raving about her last experience and keeps asking me when we're going back because the people that work here absolutely love what they do. They're all dedicated to this age group, to the child development. They all have a great background, of course, CPR and medically certified. They're here because they love to share their love of cruising with kids. So the next space that we're gonna explore is the Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. So we're gonna start here in the spa itself. You can see this is the check-in area where you're gonna to wanna to head up, especially if you want one of those treatments. As soon as you get on board, if it's a specific time, I highly recommend that you come on up and book that the very first day. You can also visit and do a complimentary tour of the spa as well to see what all the different treatment options are about. Now behind, you're gonna have a wide variety of retail Everything on the ship is duty free. So a lot of people do prefer to buy these products here on board because you get it for a lower cost. Now let's explore the space itself. So as I mentioned, the check-in desk is right here to my right. And then once you head on in, you're gonna have a couple different spaces. So you'll have the fitness center just up the stairs here. We're actually gonna start out in the relaxation lounge. So now we're just inside the relaxation room. Now the purpose of this is this is where you're gonna start and finish your treatments. So as soon as you check in, they're gonna bring you in here. There'll be a little bit of paperwork so that your therapist knows exactly what you're looking for, what your needs are, and if there's anything that you need to let them know. So they'll review that with you, but really the space here is all about getting in the Zen mindset so you can get the most out of your treatment. And then once again, at the end, you'll come back in here, you kind of unwind just a little bit. They're gonna have some water, some teas, some infused waters as well. 
you can get a little bit more relaxation before you head on out to the rest of the ship. Now, in the spa itself, they have a ton of different treatment options. They've got a few set up right here. You're gonna have seaweed wraps. You have ionothermy, thermage. They have a full Medi spa as well. But what I've used the most is the massages. So you see they have the bamboo massages. That's one of my favorite ones. You can get out all those knots and the tension from travel. You also have the hot stone. I think that is my all-time favorite. But if you want a lighter massage, a Swedish massage, deep tissue, they have a ton of different options that you can mix and match. So the next stop on your treatment is the men's and women's changing rooms. So just through there, you're gonna have a locker room where you can store your items. And what I love about this class of ship, you don't find it on all of them, is that in the men's and women's changing rooms, you also have a sauna right here to my right. And then there's also a steam room as well. Now those are complimentary to utilize throughout your cruise for every passenger. Now they also have the showers right here, so you can utilize those before and after your treatment, especially if you're using the steam room or the sauna. Next up is the thermal suite. So in here, you're gonna have several different items. Now you can purchase this for a day pass or a pass for the entire cruise. Keep in mind, they do sell out pretty quick. So if you're interested in having access to this throughout your cruise, you're gonna to wanna to stop by the first day. So you've got five of these hot stone loungers. I've utilized them a ton. It's perfect for your back because it's got a nice heated back just behind it. It's ergonomics, you can sit, read, and of course you're looking out at the incredible ocean views. You can imagine going through the glaciers, sitting in here is a really special spot. Now as we continue on through the space, you're gonna have a couple more options that you can utilize. You have a steam room right here in the middle. It's a massive space and it also looks out at the beautiful scenery. And then tucked just around the corner, you're gonna find several showers. So they've got a rainforest style shower here, one around the corner there as well. And then you're gonna have a mild steam room just to the left and you're gonna wrap it up with an aromatic suite. So they're gonna, they're gonna have different kinds of aromas in there, maybe peppermint or eucalyptus. And once again, incredible views out to the ocean. Now we're just inside one of the single treatment rooms. They also have couple massage rooms as well. You've got the massage table right here in the middle. You're gonna have a shower to the left. And then they also tucked in the corner are gonna have the heater for the hot stone. So this is one of those places where you can get all the different massage options. Now we're inside one of the Rizul treatment rooms. My wife and I did this quite a few years ago. It's one of our favorite treatments that we've ever done. What it is, is you've got a steam room just for the two of you in there. There's two bench seats. They're gonna give you different kinds of muds, salt scrubs, all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, what's better than throwing mud at your partner, having a little bit of fun, but it's really a relaxing and detoxifying treatment. Now, Royal Caribbean has a partnership with Elemis. They're gonna use all of their different products here in the spa. You can see some of them just here in front of me. They'll do body composition analysis. They also have a full ability to do facials, a wide variety. They can also do that consultation and talk to you about your skin, about whatever it is that you're looking for nutritional advice, or you can even do a private training session. Now Royal has a partnership with Keristus in Paris. They're gonna have a full salon here. So you can see they've got the hair station right there for washing. You've got all the stations around the back. You're gonna have a couple different salon stations. So you can get a haircut, a coloring, a wide variety of different options that you can get at home. Now also in here, you're gonna have the manicure stations. I love that they're, sit, they're right up against the window so you can look out at the incredible ocean views behind you. And then they also have the pedicure stations. My favorite part of that is they're even big enough for my giant size 15 feet. So if you want to pamper yourself a little bit while you're cruising, I highly recommend that you check out the spa, the salon, whatever it is that you love at home, you're sure to love it here on board as well. Just above the spa, you're going to find the fitness center. Now you can access it through the doors behind me on deck 12, or you can come up from the spa itself. Now it's a full service fitness center, just like you'd find at your gym at home. You're going to have a wide variety of equipment in here. All along the front, you're gonna have treadmills looking out, and then also tucked just behind it, you're gonna have bikes, ellipticals. You got more ellipticals on the side here. Now, interspersed throughout, you're gonna have the different circuit machines. You can see a couple of them, the pull down right there. You got a Smith machine around the corner, and then wrapped around the far corner as well, you're gonna have more of the circuit equipment. Now, you also are gonna have rowing machine. I mentioned a couple different types of bikes as well. Right in the middle of the space, you're gonna find the aerobic studio. So they have spin bikes right here. They'll set those up for spin class. They do yoga classes, stretching classes, all kinds of different options. You can also do a private lesson if that's something that you're interested in as well. But right here, once again, is the main aerobic studio and then wrap just around the other side. You're gonna find more aerobic equipment. You're gonna have the ellipticals against the wall there and then the rest of the circuit machines tucked around the corner. 
Now we're just inside the Tropical Theater. Now it is a beautiful space. It's a large theater and show lounge. You've got the main stage just in front of me there. And then you're gonna have stadium style seating on the bottom levels and then even more on the top. There's even a third tier all the way up top there. I love that they have kind of almost private booth or box seating on the far side and then down below as well. It is first come first serve, so those do usually go pretty quick. Now on the bottom level, they're also going to have a full bar. They do bar service throughout. This is where you're going to find your Broadway style shows. They'll also have comedians, enrichment lecturers. They'll bring on special acts and singers as well. But each and every single night, they're going to have a fantastic entertainment option for you here in the Tropical Theater. Now one of the sweet amenities that you're gonna get is special seating in the theater. So right in the middle on the bottom levels there, that's actually reserved for suite guests, in addition to having the suite lounge and several other spots around the ship. Now keep in mind when you are ready to book your Royal Caribbean suite, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and get the hard travel signature service. Just in front of the Tropical Theater on deck six, you're gonna find the cinema. Now this used to be a mainstay on a lot of cruise ships. They really don't have them anymore. I love this space. When I've cruised on the Radiance class ships, including the Serenade, many, many times my family and I have really enjoyed heading in and watching a first run movie in a space that's actually dedicated to movies. So it's a real true cinema. It's stadium style seating to the extreme. So everybody has a great view of the large stage. They've got all the acoustic tiling in here. So you get really good sound and you've got the massive screen just in front. But I've watched a ton of movies here over the years with my family and I really love that they've kept it here on board. Set just between the casino and the theater, you're gonna find the Crown and Castle Pub. Now it is a pub, it's a gathering space, it's a place where you get together with friends and family where you meet new friends and family as well. You're gonna have all kinds of seating in here. So along the back, you're gonna have the high top pub style seating. You've got tables and chairs here in the middle, they can put them together for larger groups. And then you're gonna have the full bar right there. They have a large variety of tap beers. They're also gonna have different kinds of micro brews and of course the full bar selection. Now tucked just over in the corner here is the small stage area. They're gonna have live music each and every single evening where you can sing along to your favorites. You can make special requests as well. And this is that perfect spot before or after dinner to relax and enjoy. So if you love gaming while you're on vacation, you've got a great option here with the Casino Royale. So you've got a wide variety of table games here in the middle. You're gonna have blackjack, roulette over there. You're also gonna have three card poker, ultimate hold'em, and then sometimes they'll mix and match some other games as well. On the far side, you're gonna find the craps tables. Now just up the ramp here, you're gonna have the bar right in the middle. So it's a really nice large bar there where they're gonna provide service throughout your time in the casino. And keep in mind, even if you're not gaming, you can also utilize that bar as well. On the top side and wrapped all the way around, you're gonna have the different slot machines. You also have Kino and then the multi-use games as well. They do have my all-time favorite, a little Wheel of Fortune over on the far side. Now, as we wrap around here, just wanted to show you the other part of the casino. So you're gonna have another roulette table. Once again, the craps table here, more blackjack spread all the way around. Set on the Centrum on deck six, you're gonna find Vintage's Wine Bar. Now, Royal Caribbean has had a partnership with the Mond Mondavi Family Wineries for quite some time. This is a place where you can take advantage of the different tastings. So they do have a tasting table over there in the corner. They're gonna have a wide variety of wine options here. It's actually one of the most expansive options on the ship, but right in the middle, of course, you do have a full bar. Now it's a large horseshoe size, so it wraps all the way around. You have seating against the wall and the window as well. And then over on the far side, I do love that you can look over and down onto the Centrum. When they're doing different activities down here, this is a great place to take in the music. Chops Grill is Royal Caribbean's original specialty restaurant. It is a steakhouse. It's an unapologetic steakhouse at that. They have phenomenal cuts of meat in here and then a wide variety of appetizers. Now you're gonna start off with some jumbo size shrimp where you've got that crispy pork belly, lots of different options for the appetizers, soups, salads as well. But when you get into the main part of the course, that's the entrees, they have quite a few different fish options and of course those delicious steaks. Now what I really like about this particular space is that you have an open kitchen. So as soon as you walk in the door, you're gonna be met with the smell of the delicious steaks that they serve here at the steakhouse. So if you wanna upgrade your experience and do specialty dining, Chops is a perfect choice. Now this space is also utilized for the sweet breakfast each and every single morning. So if you're a sweet guest, you can come in and have a nice sit down a la carte breakfast. And then next door at Giovanni's table, that's an a la carte breakfast for Pinnacle members. This is Giovanni's Table, which is one of the specialty restaurants here on board. It's an Italian menu. Everybody loves a great Italian meal. 
this is what it's all about. So they have different family style options, also separate individual courses as well. You're gonna have seating all along the windows there so you can get those incredible views looking out. And then you can see the full restaurant space here. You're gonna have booths. You have tables for two, four, six, and up to 10. They also have round tables over in the corner and then the lower tables as well. Now they have a really large wine selection in here so you can pair it with your different courses if you'd like. The sommelier will come around and assist you with it. But if you love a good Italian meal, you're gonna have a great time here at Giovanni's. Ahoy, there's land dead ahead. Nah, I'm just in the schooner bar right now. I love the schooner bar. It's my favorite bar on every single Royal Caribbean ship. It's the nautical theme bar, and this particular class has the largest ones in the entire fleet. As soon as you walk through the door, you're gonna have all the different nautical themes start. They have a wide variety of ship models. I really, really love to check those out. You see over there as well, you've got a little bit of the netting. Now, as we walk through, this is just a walk through area kind of to, to set the mood for the schooner bar, if you will. Now, schooners are those old style ships that were in the Caribbean, basically when the first settlers came. So essentially what you're gonna find is that throughout the entire space. You got another large model here. And then as soon as we get into the space, what I love about it is there's lots of different intimate nooks for seating. So you see you have these booths over here. There's quite a few on the other side as well. They're gonna have TVs all around that you can utilize for different sporting events and games. And then as we continue further into the space, you see it's just an extension of that. So once we get past here, you've got the windows. So you have incredible views out to the ocean. You've got more tables for two, four, and six, more of the booth seating. But the heart and soul of the schooner bar is of course the bar and the bar staff. They are the absolute best in the business. They're gonna sure to keep the drinks flowing, keeping you smiling, making jokes, and uh, making sure that you're happy throughout your entire time here on board. Now, another signature of every single schooner bar is the piano bar. So they're gonna do live music each and every evening in here. The pianist will take requests. They'll do different themes throughout the time as well. And then they also use this for trivia and other events as well. But I really, really appreciate the size of this space. It continues all the way to the far side where the safari club is, and then all the way down the area we just walked. You've got bar seating, you have seating against the windows, and all kinds of different nooks all around. So just after the schooner bar, you're gonna find the Safari Club. Now this is a multi-use space. We'll get into the main part of the space here in just a minute. But I wanted to point out one of my favorite features on board. You have gyro pool tables. So these were a first in the industry. And as far as I know, they're still an only in the industry. And the idea behind it is the pool tables on a gyro. So it's always gonna stay flat. It's actually pretty funny if you get in a little bit of a you know, wave situation where the ship's moving just a bit, you can see the pool tables moving, but the pool balls in the middle are not. I've played a ton of games of pool on the Radiance class ships right here and well heck if it's a little bit bumpy you could even sleep right here be nice and smooth just saying all right let's head further into the space i did want to point out right around the corner here is the loyalty ambassador so if you are a crown and anchor member they can take care of all kinds of different things for you whether you have questions about your status inclusions or anything else they're sure to be able to assist now we're going to head into the main part of the safari club so this is a lounge, it's the very aft of the ship. So you do have beautiful wraparound windows. You're gonna have windows all along the wall here and on the far side as well. You've got lots of little nooks tucked away. So you've got some seating over there as well. Now in the back corner, you're gonna find the main bar. It is a full bar setup. They'll provide service to all the events here, whether they're doing bingo or karaoke, the quest, that's a fun one. It's an adults only game show. Make sure that you do that when you're on board. You're sure to have an incredible time. And now we're gonna head down to the dance floor. So you see the stage up behind me, they're in front of me, they're gonna have full entertainment each and every single evening. It's gonna change with the different themes, parties and events that they'll have in here. You've got a huge dance floor right in the middle. You've got seating wrapped all the way around the dance floor with the bench, bench and booth seating over to the side and then seats all along. But that's not the end of the space. It continues further back. You're gonna have a piano in the back corner. So when they do live music for something with a little bit more ambiance, they'll do that. And then there's another bar in the back middle of the ship and a ton more seating. So you've got more of those booths and of course the tables as well. So what I love about this particular space is you can utilize it anytime during the day. Sometimes my wife will come in and go to the very back because you have beautiful light back there and she'll do sewing, or you can also come in for any of the different events that they're gonna have in here. We're finally at the very back of the ship. You're gonna have another full bar set up over here to the side. And then actually tucked just around the corner behind the stage is the chef's table. 
On the port side of the Safari Club, you're gonna find the Chef's Table restaurant. As soon as you walk in, there's a little lounge area where you can sit and relax before the seating. Now, what I really appreciate about that is the Chef's Table is all about meeting new people and having a phenomenal shared experience. So we have have so many different stories of the people that we've met on the Chef's Tables. We've actually kept in touch with quite a few of them as well. Taylor and I had an amazing experience on the Anthem of the Seas, which was our last time. Now in the chef's table space itself, you see you have a nice long table here in the middle. They can have about 10 to 12. Of course, you can also buy it out for a private group if you'd like to do that. You're celebrating something special. At the very end, they're gonna have a high top there. Well, they'll bring out and the chef's gonna explain the different components of the course, talk about the wine pairing, and basically just talk about the entire experience. You can ask the chef questions as well, but it's a wine paired meal where you can sit down, make new friends, and have a delicious and fantastic option. Now we're down on deck five. You've got the top level of the dining room behind me. You've got the centrum right here in the middle and then the coffee shop off to the side. But you can see all of this opens up to a phenomenal entertainment space because you can take advantage wherever they're doing the entertainment in the centrum, you can watch it. This is that perfect spot to check out the stage and really get involved in the R-Bar entertainment. Set on the centrum of deck five, you're gonna find Cafe Latitude. So this is where you can get your caffeine fix. If you love a good coffee, whether it's an espresso, a macchiato, cappuccino, or Taylor's favorite, a latte, you can get that right here. And I love their partnership with Lavazza Coffee, so you can have a delicious Italian coffee option. Now, just in the front, you're also gonna have some grab-and-go food items. So they're gonna have different kinds of wraps and sandwiches. And then, well, I always stop by to get a cookie a few hundred times on a cruise. You're also gonna have a variety of different uh, dessert options as well. Now there's seating that wraps all the way around the centrum. I love that you can sit right here, look down and take part of all of the entertainment. And also on the other side, you're gonna find a little seating area for the coffee shop. So they've got a bar style seating on the far side and then you're also gonna have tables and chairs here as well. Now continuing on through the space, you're gonna find Next Cruise. Now we know that you're gonna have an incredible time on board your Royal Caribbean Cruise, so you definitely wanna stop by Next Cruise to book your Next Cruise right here on board. You're gonna get the best pricing and you're also gonna get some promotional discounts and onboard credits that you can only get when booking on board. Now as your travel advisor, as soon as you get home, just let us know you made the booking. We can take care of all the details from here on out and make sure that your next Royal Cruise is as wonderful as the one you're on right now. Now, if you're interested in hosting a group on board, there's all kinds of different groups that you can bring. If you do need conference or meeting space, they do have a great conference room. In fact, you see the boardroom right here. You've got a large flat panel TV with all the AV that you would need, but you can basically utilize any of the spaces around the ship for that, and we'd be happy to coordinate it for you. Now we're gonna explore some of the shopping options that you have. They have a ton of retail options here on board. So you've got the Invicta watch store over to the side. As we continue along, you can see a different amount, different samplings of what they're gonna have in the shops themselves. Now, right in the middle, they're gonna have a pop-up shop. So right now they have the different liquor options out for boarding day to demonstrate those. They'll do different kinds of sales and promotions throughout your time on board. You're gonna have a high-end jewelry and watch shop over on that side. Over here, you're gonna find the different sundry items. So you can get alcohol and tobacco, little bits of candies, you know, things that you might've forgotten at home. Now, keep in mind, everything here is duty-free. So a lot of people do like to purchase while they're on board to take advantage of that tax savings. Next up is the shop. This is where you're gonna find all the different logo gear from Royal Caribbean. So you're gonna rock your Royal gear everywhere that you go. You also have sunglasses, different Alaska items in there because we're sailing in Alaska now. And then finally, you're gonna have another retail on the far side where they're gonna have different clothing items. You have high-end bags and accessories. So as we continue up the ramp here, you'll, you'll be right out into the middle of the centrum, but you can see a large selection of shopping here on board. Outside on deck five, you're gonna find a promenade deck where you can look out at the beautiful ocean view. So it's perfect when you're going through any of the scenic areas or they're gonna put loungers out here as well. You know, as we walk back this space, I wanted to talk about the fact that when this ship was designed, it was the most glass of any cruise ship ever. This is one of those examples where you have the beautiful glass elevators that go up and down. You've got glass that heads all the way up to the top here. Now, as we continue around, we're gonna head down a little bit of a ramp on the promenade deck. You're gonna have shuffleboard out here, but really what this spot is about, you'll probably find me here sometime throughout the cruise, sit and read a book, have a drink, take in those incredible ocean views, and really get down at a little bit of a lower level for that sightseeing. 
So now we're in the centrum area. This is used for all kinds of different things. You can see it is a beautiful space. It goes eight stories up. And what I love is from each deck, you can actually look down on the centrum. Now this is a dynamic entertainment zone. You've got the stage behind me. They'll do a rock band. They'll do different theme parties, 70s and 80s. And once again, what I really like about having the tiers is there's people that can sit up on the, on the next level up and even the level above that and participate in the entertainment. Now, right here in the middle, you're gonna have the seating for the R bar. So when they renovated this ship a few years ago, they added in the 70s theme retro R bar. It's a full bar service. It's gonna provide service through this entire area here. You see you have booth seating, you've got tables for two and four, and then you can walk directly through. Now also in this space, just off to the side, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk and guest services. Now for guest services, my recommendation is always to try to do whatever it is that you need to do there during the middle of your cruise. First day and the last day are gonna be a little bit busier because that's when people are checking in and checking out. Now the shore excursions desk, they're gonna be able to answer all your questions about the different excursions. They've been on many of them themselves. They're the experts. Now we do recommend that you book your excursions before you arrive here. And then once you get on board, you can also check with them to change or or maybe you wanna add one on, but that's something that you definitely wanna plan ahead for. But as you can see, this is an absolutely stunning space. When the Radiance class ships were built, this is one of the main features that people have absolutely loved since the beginning, and I still do today. Now the main dining room is a classic example of royal dining design. I love that it's two floors. It's really grandiose. You have these curtains on either side that act as pillars. So you have a top floor up on deck five. You can dine up there or down here on deck four. Now you've got a beautiful piece of art at the end. You're gonna have all kinds of different seating options here. You've got large tables for 10 or more, two, four, six. So if you want something a little more intimate for just two, make sure you let us know when you make the booking. Now in the space itself, in addition to that, you're gonna have tables along the windows. You also have a beautiful grand staircase that heads up to the second floor. And right in the middle, you're gonna have a waterfall feature and a grand piano. So they'll play music in here and have beautiful ambiance while you dine. Now this is open for breakfast and lunch on most days, and it's open for dinner every single evening. Now what I love so much about dining on a cruise, especially with Royal Caribbean, is that they vary the menu each and every single day. So you have all your classics, if you want a steak or salmon or chicken, they're gonna have that for you every night, and my favorite shrimp cocktail. But beyond that, they're gonna rotate the menu around so you can try new things. In fact, some of my favorite dishes today, I tried for the first time on a cruise ship. I may have been a little bit shy about ordering them at home when you're paying from the menu, but when you you can order from here and basically get whatever you want. This is that perfect place to explore. It's especially great for families as well. But as you can see, this is an absolutely beautiful space here. You can meet new people or dine, just the two of you, or solo if you prefer. It's a two-story grand dining room. It's included, and you're gonna dine here every single night. Or of course, if you prefer, you can always head up to the Windjammer for a fast casual option or any of the specialty dining options. So now we're out on the bow of the ship. I just wanted to say thank you so much for spending your time with us today exploring this absolutely beautiful ship. I've always loved cruising on the Radiance class ships. The Serenade has so many fantastic memories for me and my family. It was fantastic to be back on here today. Now, when you're ready to book your next cruise, make sure you do it on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group, and get the hard travel signature service and value every step of the way. Now I'm gonna head off and enjoy the serenade.